welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today we're going to be doing some Nailtopia swatches. I showed these in a haul, I believe, but I didn't actually show all of the swatches. So uh, Nailtopia is a brand that is available at Ulta Beauty. They are cruelty free. It's, I'm reading on the back because because I can't remember anything I'm reading in the back of the bottle. It's a biosource color and care fruit and vegetable technology. AHA and PHA infused for smooth long wear. It's 100% vegan. It's cruelty free, Leaping Bunny approved, and it was made in the USA, which is awesome. So they were having a sale at Ulta a couple weeks ago. They were, I think, 30% off. Um, and I purchased several because I really do enjoy the brand. I've purchased several polishes in the past from the brand and I wanted to try more. Uh, retail at Ulta, they are $10. Um, with the sale, they were 7 so be mad at that. And they recently released a bunch of new colors and that is what a lot of these are. So let's get to the swatches. I'm going to show you these in alphabetical order. The first would be But First Coffee and this is a cooler espresso colored cream polish. This one covers in two coats. They do have a paddle brush on which I do like. It's not a very wide paddle brush I don't think. It's not like the huge Sally Hansen paddle brush, but it is a paddle brush. I think it applies the polish really nicely. And this one covers in two coats. It dries pretty shiny, but of course you're going to want a top coat. So, there you go. <laughs> it's two coats of my first cup. The next polish is called Indigo to Ibiza, and this is a cobalt blue cream polish. And I know you're probably thinking, did you buy that polish twice? No. That's a different color blue down here. We'll get to that one in a second. <laughs> but this is Indigo to Ibiza. I just love this color. I can't help it. I can't help it. I, I don't even want to apologize because I'm not sorry. I love it. I think it's beautiful. This is my favorite color, so this is the color that I like to try when I'm trying new brands because I feel like this is a benchmark for how the brand will kind of work and application and formula. I just, maybe that doesn't make sense, but I feel like I want to buy similar colors if I'm trying a new brand to better compare it to others. It has a lovely formula. It covers in two coats. I, you know, there's not a ton to say about this because I just love this color and I, I don't ever find fault with this color in ever. <laughs> I can't be unbiased, so that's two coats of indigo to a pizza. The next polish is called Lover Boy, and this is a beautiful olive green cream. This one needs two coats as well. Lovely olive formula. I didn't experience any staining with this color. Uh, typically olives will, will stain on me more than anything else, um, and I didn't experience any staining with this. I just love olive green nail polish. Have I, ever, have I ever done a top olive polish? I don't know that I have. If not, you're getting a preview of one that would be in that list. So that's two coats of Lover Boy. The next polish is called Morning Mimosa, and this is an orangey red cream polish. It's more orange than red. <laughs> so, but it's different than this other one down here. I love an orange red polish. For as much as I don't really like red, red orange, orange red, yes. Give me all of those. I love them. And I just think it's a cheerful color. I think it's great for so many seasons. I, I love an orangey red or a reddish orange, whatever you want to call it. I love a red orange in any season. I think it looks great in the summer because it's still bright. I think it looks good in the fall because it kind of looks like harvesty. I think it looks really pretty in the winter because it's bright for the dreariness of winter. I think it looks great in the spring because it's just a beautiful color. So anyways, this has a nice formula covered in two coats. That's Morning Mimoso. The next polish is called Nailer's Knot. Even though Indigo to Ibiza is still opaque in two coats, it, it has, has a slight jelly 
jelliness to its cream formula. This is more of a straight up cream. Both palettes cover in two coats, but this one just applies more like cream than crelly-ish. Do I need both? Yes. Do you need both? Potentially. How is this? Look at this color though. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. That's two coats of it. <laughs> Nailers not. The next palette is called One in a Melon, and this one I actually purchased when it was on clearance. Um, I bought this color for my daughter. You know, I'm not the biggest pink fan, especially this type of pink. Uh, this isn't the pink that I would pick. I would choose a brighter pink, but she likes any kind of pink, so she liked this one. Uh, the color is really pretty. It's a corally pink, but it's definitely more pink than coral. It's there's just a coral hint to it. It covers in two coats. It has a really nice formula. This isn't, you know, like I said, my, my absolute favorite pink, but I think that the color is very pretty. I just, you know, want brighter pink. Because I'm very loud. I'm always told that I need to quiet down. The next polish is called Red Hot Summer. This is a little more red than Morning Mimosa. It's so just beautiful and lovely. It's very, very similar to Morning Mimosa, so you, you probably don't need both. But <laughs> it's too late. I bought both, so now I own both. Covers in two coats, and that's Red Hat Summer. And then the last polish is called Summer Fun, and this is a brassy gold shimmer. This one covers in two to three coats. It looks fine in two. You can still see a little bit of nail line if you want it to be more opaque. Obviously, you would need a third coat. But it, it it's wearable in two coats. It just depends on your preference. So um, I wrote two to three coats. I don't really have a lot of golds like this because I'm not a very gold nail polish person. So I think that this is fun and it's definitely unique enough to my collection just because I don't own a lot of brassy golds like this. Have you guys tried Nailtopia? Uh, let me know your favorites from the brand. I like the cap. I think it's really cool. They, um, I guess I should mention they recently changed their cap. The silver is their original cap and then this white is a biodegradable cap. That's what this little sticker says. I can take that off now that I remember to say that. So the white caps are biodegradable, which is awesome, and then the silver caps are not. But What are you going to do? You can find Nailtopia at Ulta Beauty. I'll have that uh, section of Ulta linked in the description box. If you've tried Nailtopia, please tell me what your favorites are. And I haven't tried any of their treatments either. They do have nail treatments, base coat, top coat, I think strengthener. And you can also buy curated trios on the Ulta website. So there's some options. Let me know which polish is your favorite. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video.